I've been looking at this to this looking forward to this segment for like <laughs> the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I can't even talk because it, so. class is in session this yeah, morning right here yeah, on First yeah. Edition, you and think our you're amazing school, teacher. Yet. Yeah, exactly. Our amazing teacher is yes. Carly. Well, if you've today never is seen, the last day of school. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yes. You've never been lucky enough. Like you've never been lucky enough to actually see her in action in front <laughs> of these true. kids. I know, that's what this started. Was, that's what it started. I want to see what's going on here. So this is super cool. What Barbie's are we doing today? Class. Yeah. So this is just a very simple experiment, but. Um, once they invented this little tool that you can buy like off Amazon or a little plastic uh, yeah, joiner to like keep the bottles together it got a lot easier because I have tried like hot gluing uh, or poking a hole in the two, lids probably. hot gluing the lids together duct taping and it's just a mess uh, <laughs> this is a little messy too because you it's hard to get it like super tight and water will fall out but nonetheless this is a great way to demonstrate how tornadoes form mm -hmm. um, which has a lot to do with shear which yep. is winds uh, going different speeds in the atmosphere and winds turning different directions in the atmosphere okay. so essentially when you turn your bottle over and you spin it you're creating that wind shear and then that? that is how your tornado forms. And so Love additionally, it. something that I do kind of talk about also is there's glitter, which is fun. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. loves glitter. That's right. But it, the glitter kind of does simulate, you know, the debris that would be flying around the tornado. Good point. And um, that's really the most damaging thing of a tornado is the debris that it has picked up. And then that's what's blowing around and causing the damage. How many presentations have, damage. You, have you done of this in classes throughout the course? I don't keep, keep up with oh, how many. Yeah. Tons. Right? I, How long have you had this though? Um, in your car, <laughs> ready to go. I, do, I have kept it pretty much April and May. That's a busy time yes. for class presentations. Another one, this one is really simple and I like it better. Um, that's going to be uh, all that's in here. So this is just water, obviously, mm -hmm. and then glitter. This one you can add glitter too, but sometimes it gets distracting. This is just dish soap okay. and, and water. And so then you create the shear with your hand and it, it creates a more cool. like realistic looking tornado wow. versus this one, you know. Um, and it actually does a better job of demonstrating the shear because you, if you spin the bottle all with the same like amount, you don't get as clear of a tornado. But if you like change there you go. your your can, can shear, we, can we do <laughs> how big your spins are, if you change how big your spins are where the, the top is spinning quicker and smaller and the bottom spinning uh, wider, then you're like creating, mimicking that wind shear that would be in the atmosphere. So you get a better, more realistic tornado. Can we do one more with the big bottles? Yeah, it's this is the one that she can only one. use in class. The, this is the one she passes out. Yeah, the one. this one is is always a crowd pleaser. Yes. Um, and they the kids really <laughs> want this one. But she's yeah. like, no, no, no. <laughs> let me give you. Let me pass you the smaller one. Yeah, and this one it's just hard. It's because it's so big. It's difficult to get to to work right. A lot of people kind of struggle creating that shear, and that's a good example of how it works in the atmosphere too. Mm -hmm. Is I mean, it takes the perfect conditions for a tornado to form. Like they're actually not easy mm -hmm. to form. Try are, to do that, John Thomas, the little you, one, like the kids. Are you taking bookings for next, <laughs> bookings. next school year? I have, um, I there you go. need to look up the name, uh, which specific church it is, but the Methodist Church downtown, I will be there this evening. Nice, you see? Mm -hmm. Like it, okay, okay, time for weather. <laughs> yeah. This is a great example, yeah, thank, yeah, you yeah. thank you. Thank so you, Carly. Much, Carly. Of course. Oh, and, and really quickly, next, uh, in about an hour, we're gonna do another demonstration, but it's gonna be clouds. Yeah. yeah. So stay tuned, yeah. and this is all stuff you can do at home with your kids this summer. Mm -hmm. And yes. you can go play this yeah. back yeah. and take And this is so easy to make, it's cool. just a jar of peanut butter <laughs> originally. Um, and it's plastic, so it's not there you go. breakable. There you go. I <laughs> yeah. like it. So this is just, uh, of course, we're heading into hurricane season, which is really one of more our more hazardous uh, weather phenomenons that has a better chance of happening here than necessarily a tornado. Uh, in our twenty, in the last twenty-five years, so the twenty-five year average, the red line is tornadoes throughout the entire state of Texas, versus how many tornadoes have ha happened on average. So some months 
there's zero. Um, how many have happened in South Texas? So you will see May, which is the month that's coming to an end, typically is the most prevalent month for tornadoes. And we have had some up in West Texas in the panhandle over the last few days where the severe weather has been. But South Texas, we see an average of three, and that's across the region, not per se Corpus Christi exactly or your exact location, right? So tornadoes are pretty rare down here. Most of them do tend to happen in the outer bands of the hurricanes uh, that that are in the region more so than from supercells and so forth. But it is important to remember where to go when a tornado does happen. That's going to be an interior room. So I always talk about this with the kids as well. You want to be away from windows and you want to have as many walls between you and the outside. But if a bathroom with no window is is on the outside wall that's still going to be better than a room with a window or so forth so avoiding windows and avoiding outside walls is best and then of course underground is a great place to go as well in a basement or a storm shelter uh, tornado genesis we get a lot of land spouts I forgot the pause point uh, more so in the coastal bend than necessarily that supercell tornado and they just form a little different land spouts form from the ground up whereas a tornado comes from the updraft down and you have to have that spinning updraft to that rotating column of air uh, in order to get those stronger tornadoes. Something else we see here a lot, which we've seen with our tropical weather pattern we've been in for a while, is tropical funnels. And that's going to form with slower winds at the surface, which we've had light winds the last few days, and then faster winds in the upper atmosphere. That creates a rotating column of air that then, uh, with the help of daytime heating, can turn vertical, and then we get those tropical funnels, but there's not enough of that directional wind shear uh, for it to really reach the ground. So